Morning guys, this is Faisal from IGN Middle East and I have Mr. Bryce Yang with me from the development team of WWE 13. And uh, have you ever been to Dubai? Is this your first, first time? time. Yeah, this is my first time in Dubai. It's first time in Dubai. Very, very cool. Very cool spot. Have you happened to check out your booth back at the uh, at Games yeah, where your game is playing? It is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a cool setup in there. Uh, we're really excited to go back there later with Santino for his, for his appearance. But yeah, but we got there right when uh, they started letting the public in. Everyone was playing the games and everything. It was great. Do you guys keep track of your, uh, I mean, the, the reaction to the games in the Middle East? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We, I mean, we keep track of, you know, consumer reaction everywhere, right? Um, you know, the, the easiest way these days is is through Facebook, Twitter, social media, right? So, you know, our, our Facebook page has two million, two million people on there, but only 25% of those people are actually from the U.S. So we get a really, you know, great global perspective instantly. When people don't like something, they, they let us know right away. And uh, WWE 13 looks like, um, I mean, it's, it's a long-running franchise so yeah. far. So what are some of the, the new additions in the franchise that we should be excited about as fans? I think, you know, every year we always update the game to, you know, make it even smoother than, than before. And also just to let people play as the latest, you know, superstars or matches in WWE. Yeah. Uh, the big thing this year for a single-player campaign is uh, the Attitude Era mode, right? So going back to 1997, 1999, you know, a classic era for WWE, right? Yeah. So you're playing through the Attitude Era and, you know, the Rise of DX and Steve Austin versus, you know, Mr. McMahon and The Rock and Mankind and a lot of the classic, you know, storylines from that, that time frame. And they're set up through these cool video packages that WWE produced for us. So you feel like, you know, you're almost reliving that whole time frame. So that's, that's probably the, the, the coolest feature, you know, for myself. What, what was the, um, the idea behind the decision to, you know, kind of replace Road to WrestleMania this time around with, yeah. with uh, Ari Riera? Was it something that you have been planning for a long time? or? Yeah, it started last year. Um, with Road to WrestleMania, I think we had done it for a few years. And it was starting to feel a little uh, stale, right? So with Attitude Era, we had a great opportunity to, you know, go back uh, to a time frame that everybody loved, right? Freshen up the roster. And also, you know, other, other products have done it too, right? NBA 2K did it with Michael Jordan, very successful. Um, and we have a lot of fans of, of that product too, right? So, you know, a bunch of different factors. And we thought, you know, we have a good opportunity to, to go back and uh, retell the story of the Attitude Era to all the new, you know, fans that have come on board who are younger, who, you know, weren't fans at the time. Sure. And what, what can fans expect from the new graphic engine in the game? Uh, you know, every year the, the, the characters look more realistic. They move much more smoother uh, than prior year. So this year, there's like a thousand new animations in the game to make it you know, look and feel a lot more smooth and realistic than before, right? So if you look uh, later on when you guys go on the floor, and check out some of those models, you'll see that uh, they look uh, eerily realistic. And uh, another new addition in the game is the WWE Live. Yep. So uh, what, what, what went behind that? I mean, the whole, I mean, audio is, I guess, an important factor in, in the game. So what went behind that decision? So this is one that we've been we've been looking to implement for a long time. Because really, when you go to a wrestling event, right, the crowd is half the show, right? And the example that we always would use internally is uh, you look at that Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania this year, right? If you look at going back, you know, 10, 12 years, whatever it is now, you had Hulk Hogan versus The Rock, right? Yeah. That match, as a, as a wrestling match, not a technical masterpiece by any means, right? But because the crowd was so hot and the crowd was so rowdy, it made that match a classic, right? So when you look at that and how much of an impact crowd reactions and crowd chants and all that, um, that was kind of the, the inspiration for WWE Live. And, you know, there's other part, right? Sound effects being redone, um, commentary being uh, up updated. And uh, the way that we captured the commentary lines this time, we, we let the guys ad lib. Uh, so genuinely react to footage that they just seen, right? Jim Ross, Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler. Um, so we captured VO in a different way this time too to make it feel more genuine. Yeah. And um, I mean, CM Punk is on the cover of the game this time. What was? Is there was there any specific reason behind these? I think he was the uh, obvious choice. Uh, the decision was made in August of last year. So CM Punk had just cut that that money promo on uh, on Monday Night Raw in Las Vegas. And it was really obvious that he was going to break out of the pack. And, and he's also, you know, right after that, we looked at our player data from WWE 12. And he was the most played character after that promo he did. So, you know, there's a lot of different factors. And his, he brings such a unique style. Uh, you know, so you look at the key art, it's very unique this year. And it's all tied to CM Punk and his, his character and style.
Is there any message you would like to give to uh, WWE gaming fans in the Middle East? Well, we're always, uh, you know, always appreciative of uh, all the support and uh, from the great fans out here. And if you guys can go check out the game over at Games 12, you should definitely, definitely uh, check it out over the next two days. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, for more gaming information, please go to IGN.com. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye.